I hope y'all ready for this episode. It's going to be bananas. I just want to shout out to all of the co-hosts that came on the show. And let's talk about Juicy. When y'all see this episode, Juicy is going to be so bananas. The audience got to choose the topics. And from now on, we let the audience choose the topics. I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you to all the vendors. Thank you to all the guests. Thank you to you, the audience, that continue to come by and support Brunch with Quez and Friends. I want you to click right here to subscribe. You see this little button down here? Click here to subscribe. Tell your mama, tell your cousins, tell everybody. Questpresents.com for more information. Peace.
I'm not going to lie. I feel the song coming on y'all. I know what you want. They ready. Y'all ready? I think they ready, y'all. What? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I bet you want. I bet you want. Now, this toast is to black people. All right? This is black people making it. You should be proud of yourself. Y'all look beautiful. You dress yourself. Nobody had to dress you. So this is being thankful for being black. All right? Cheers, y'all. That's a good toast. Now, listen, y'all. I've seen some of these um, hot topics. All right? Uh, to hear, tell them what our juicy consists of sometimes. <laughs> I mean, controversy, dramatics, drama. Uh -huh. Sometimes it gets a little thotty. It does. Yeah, we like yeah. the thotty. A little bit of thotty is okay, yeah, for those shows. Because they ready for me. The models are ready, y'all. The models are ready. Are y'all ready for a fashion show? Say yeah. Ooh, we can yeah. Yeah. It's, it's full of because, listen, oh, y'all. It's summertime, and I said, you know what? Let's let's bring the ladies. It's for plus size women only. Only. <laughs> only. Um, I do have five models um, back here that's going to show you some new arrivals along with some arrivals that I already have in stock. Um, let's see. I haven't been open for a year yet. I am a finalist for Kansas City People's Choice Awards. Yes. yes. Did y'all hear that subtle flex? She said, I just yes. got going, but our name is buzzing. Do you hear it? It's Find me on social media, Facebook, Plush Couture Boutique. That's P-L-U-S-H-C-O-U-T-U-R-E, Boutique. And you can also find me on Instagram, Plush, uh, as Plush Boutique also. All right, y'all, make oh, me yeah. look good. Make me look Let's like I know what I'm doing. Who's ready for a fashion show? I'm ready for a fashion show. Here Come on, baby. So my first model is Dalanda. She is wearing one of our new arrivals that has not hit the site yet. Look at this. Oh, that jingle. Oh, yeah. This is it's like giving you on the show. A little bit of leg, but you don't want to be too exposed. Ooh. Oh, my God. She can see the look. I can A little squishy cover up. Oh, look. 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 Oh, Bring for a overseas vacation. Yeah. You better. Perfect oh. girl. Looks so lightweight. You better. Okay. It's okay. giving I'm coming in. I'm the honey of home. No, for vacation hey, baby. It's giving you want her in your friend circle because she's going to give you like everything. It's like, hey, man. You better say it. Come on. You, you better, better say it. Green. Giving black girl. That's you better. better. You better say yeah. it. Yeah. Green is golden. She make you want to go to She make you want to deal side. Come on. I see. I love that. Oh, 
Juicy, you went to go first. Why do you get to go first? I'm not going first. I'm just making sure I mix it. I was gonna say, your glasses look real cool. Oh, well, where's yours? Oh, right here. Earl, what's your drink? Drink cola. Sorry, we're busy. It's the real season. And we don't plan that disrespect around here. Real quick. We drink cola. This is my little big mama. My little big mama. You know what I'm talking about. Little big mama. Go stand up. Little big mama. Stand up. Yeah, we got mini Mike Epps up here. Don't make me say the name. Little big. This is my little big mama right here. This is my little sister. Yeah. Little big mama. 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 Can we just talk about how you literally acted like you was about to give her a shout out? <laughs> and he wanted something. Oh, just like a brother. 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 Just like a First hey, of all, real. don't bring real. him nothing. Don't act like you about to shout her out. And then See, you this is out. the problem. Women always talking when you talking to a woman. It is. You hush, I'm do. talking to a woman. It is. Uh, baby sister, baby sister. I don't know baby baby sister. Sister. Talk the first sister. This is, this is my beautiful fine. baby sister, Christine Lavender. And she's fine. She still ain't bringing you no drink. And you don't know, see. Talking <laughs> to a man when a man talking to a woman. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a hustle woman and a man talking. Can you see me? We already heard Earl. Earl, sit your ass down. Uncle Earl, my dad's Thank you. Thank you. Girl, I already got outside. You know what? I jumped you right off. I jumped right off. I'm gonna give y'all some. Okay, excuse me. I'm gonna give y'all some rules, all right? One person talking at a time. Can y'all say amen for that? Amen. Okay, amen. Let's get so. I hold on. I got the rules. I got the mic. So I'm gonna go around. I'm going to go around and check it out. Well, it's not a question. It's a statement. It okay. says, securing our youth's future. And it's funny that I got this. That is the perfect today. person to have that question. So uh, there's a representative. Stay, yeah. stay representative. There's a serious crowd this weekend. I like it. Guys. Yes, yes. Go so ahead. Wait, go, ahead and, go ahead and say what you think. He's going to say something about it. Okay. Well, it's funny that I got this topic today um, because of the position that I'm in with my child. However, I do not believe that I personally can secure her future because my goal is to shoot the arrow in the right direction. So that's not necessarily me securing her future, but that is me guiding her for her own security. And that's how, that's that on that, that's the post. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, post. state representative. I, th I think that uh, you hit it, you hit the uh, nail on the head by when you stated guidance, uh, security is a, uh, a pathway of guidance because you, we, not only do we want the best for our children, we want them, of course, not to make the mistakes that we made, right? So we want to troubleshoot those those mistakes and uh, make sure that we can resolve any issues that they have and, and limit those uh, with those opportunities that we have to watch them grow. A lot of times, uh, in, the, in the process of people saying that they want to see their child prosper, a lot of times we just, we sometimes forget about what they want, right? And we, we, we think about what we want for them, right? Okay, so I think that it's important for, to shoot that arrow, right? Because when you shoot that arrow, it gives them, it gives them a broad horizon. Sometimes we just narrow in on saying, hey, either you're going to be this or you're going to be that. Like, I think that it's great when... Okay, you got two minutes. Okay, I think that it's great. Well, that's one of them. I'm good, I'm good at this. I know, I know how to do these. Uh, so, um, a lot of times we have our youth that want to be entrepreneurs because they see us doing this. Like we had uh, Plush Couture. It's great. If we can make sure that they have a sense of knowing that they can stay educated and still be an entrepreneur, because we have to make a sandbox for our children of security. What I mean by that real quick is this. Any opportunity that we have to watch them flourish or go out on, on their own, be it through education, be it through uh, uh, entrepreneurship, when they do that, I think it's important for us to adopt those kids, meaning business owners, black small business owners. You adopt these kids that are going in and transitioning into the world and they want to be small business owners or entrepreneurs. A lot of times we think that our kids say things like this, 
man, I gotta go to school. No, you get to go to school. And you got it. Okay? Yeah. So, we'll, we'll have you on stage in a minute. All right, Ree, what was yours? Thank you. Well, after I had to decipher my doctor writing, <laughs> I came up with, somebody asked uh, us to talk about Beyonce and Khalees song credit beef. Mm. So if you don't know what that is, Beyonce made this whole house Renaissance situation. Yes, she did. And she did a little sample mashup, mix up her, milkshake. you know, whatever version of Khalees' milkshake. And uh, Khalees got on the internet and was like, don't be taking my song. What's she saying? You ain't asked me shit, Beyonce, who you think you are, because the milk, my milkshake bring the boys to the yard, not yours. So Beyonce went behind the scenes and she was like, well, go milkshake and bring your own boys to the yard. Yeah, Bye. Tell the story. Tell the story, honey. Yeah. Let's just talk about how. So, we love so Beyonce. I can't but cross my album, legs. I forgot it. Stop trying. Should have been so, released doing gay pride. Here's what I think it was giving like, too much. Okay. I, I'm, a, I'm a lesbian woman. I can say what I want to say. It was given too gay in the month that she released it. We get it. It's, it's giving it's culture. 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 <laughs> it's getting. It's giving. It's capital, capitalizing us off of gays and not giving us enough credit. It's giving. I don't want to vote all fucking weekend. Can I say? Can I say well, let me tell you. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> okay. What I want to touch on what what you said. I believe that you know ballroom and dance music is a culture. It is an entire culture, and I do think that it is wrong for artists to capitalize off of a culture for their benefit. One. That's how I feel about that. Moving back to what you said, I think Khalees should have shut up and took her Shut her shut mouth up. up. In, in terms of in, in music business, her issue is not with Beyonce. It's and she said it. She said it was with Beyonce. And it was with But then she also said Beyonce. She said Beyonce can pick Beyonce up the phone and call her. She can do whatever she wants to do. So, so let me nobody. say this. Let me say this. Because it's Skittles. It is my question. Don't say that. Go ahead, Ray. It's your question. I'm just saying. Let me say this. When I think when she said what she said, she was in her own way. Yeah. I feel she like did. sometimes yeah. when you're in a bad space, you lash out on the person without really thinking it through. You know, because I mean, I know everybody saw the post later that was like, look, milkshake didn't make you, it didn't make your milk shake at all. And nobody I, even knew you, Khalid. Shut your knew. mouth up. Think, you relevant because, because of Beyonce, okay? And instead of saying, I said like, what I said. if Khalid did that to Beyonce, the world would be in shambles. But it's no way that you can sample something. No matter Wait a minute. This is why. Okay. And first of all, yes, it is. And that is why I'm your house. Right. Let me finish. That is why your house and your business has to be in order when you in music. That's because part. when you, that's part. Part. That's you, that's when you do music, that's you are an out. artist. When you're, that's this is why having your masters and all these things. Ain't that's right, right. Okay. Because when you do music, you don't own you. You yes. are just a face. You are it a brand. On your contract. The people. Contract. The, yes. But now we have more awareness around masters. So, yes. when Khalees was in music, that's when we say all the people, yes. TLC, Ashanti, all these people getting got by the people who are running behind, running their, really running their thing because you are nothing but a voice. Yeah. So what she should have done was shut up and said, you know what, Beyonce gave me a chance to revive my career. Exactly. Yes. She gave me writing credit. She yes. said, you know what, I see you got fucked. Yeah. And I'm gonna give you I'm an opportunity girl. to stand on my back. Cause I'm up here. Mm -hmm. If Beyonce's gonna let but you stand right on her back. What thing is if you do your research, you doesn't not in writing. But she gave there was no credit at all to Khalees. That is exactly why it was taken off the album. That was not one Who thing was that saying Khalees' name say. before it happened? Khalees. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> okay. And that's why. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me put and some pep in there. That is why. Oh, hold on. Everything. Everything. Hold on. Everything. Everything. Everything starts with respect. I don't care if it's a relationship. I don't care if it's between two men. I don't care between a woman and a woman. It's all good. Respect. Here, I don't think Khalees should have came at it with her emotions. No, she, she should not have. Like she, she like she, not like have. she did. But what I can say is, her being a black woman and an artist, Beyonce being be a not black not woman and an artist, we, I'm up here, I'm up here, I'm up here, I'm up here. She can call that woman and say, hey, no, Khalees, she can't. hey, Khalees, girl, no, she hey, can't. Khalees, respect, no, hey, Khalees, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, no, not so people call my people. Not so people call my people. All right, we got an audience question. Black woman, the black woman. All right, we got an audience. That's all. Girl. 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 Go see, girl. Girl. We we got got everybody want to be better than everybody damn else. No, period. Y'all real big on signs around here, but at the end of the day, Beyonce's a Virgo, so. Boom. <laughs> 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 it's giving, it's giving, take the Virgo. At the end of the day. Next okay. question, next question. Next question, big Virgo energy at this 
Peter, what's your question? Don't what's block your, your blessing. Learn from police. Period. Hey, period. What's your question? Here we go. Here we go. Brittany Griner. And y'all know I got so much shit to say about this. I just need to talk about this all week. I'm glad somebody said that. What you got to say about this? First of all, she was in there for six months. 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 To nine years for a weed pen. It was no weed. It was just a weed CBD pen that was prescription prescribed from her doctor. Nine years as a lesbian woman in the WNBA who is married and has an established career. That is crazy to who me. Who was forced to play in who Russia? Is, in it order was to make forced more money. to be there because the career, how what she's paid versus what a male is paid in the NBA. Ooh, let me get on it. Should have been wise. Ooh, let me get on it. I, I just feel so passionate about that because I'm like, there's no way that we would have let LeBron stay over there for one oh. fucking day. Oh. We would have been by We would have been. They would have been picking me for signs outside. We would have been protesting. And, and, and I'm sorry, as a woman, that if go. that was my wife over there, I would be having every establishment. I will be outside protest. She, her wife is not doing enough. Get her, you ready to fight Putin? Man, I'm she's ready to fight. Okay, I'm, I'm coming for mine. Let me, let, let me, let me, let me, I'm coming. Let's get the audience. So we have an audience member who please has come on. Skittles is pissed. I'm mad. <laughs> because I understand the comparison with LeBron. I understand the comparison with Kobe. I understand all those things, but here's what I'm saying. Uh, everybody has choices. Come on. And um, that young lady. Whether she plays in the States, whether she plays overseas, she has a choice to where she wants to play. And it is like anything else, y'all, we know rules and regulations when we go places. You know, you be like, okay, we're we finna go, we finna go here, so this is what we can and we can't do. So either you either your tuck is good or your tuck ain't good. And if your tuck is good, you might be able to stop this ah, Come on! Your tuck is ah, right, come on! You might get caught if your tuck's not good. This is business. This is not about gender. How many of you ladies have WNBA merchandise? Jerseys, cups, coffee mugs, we can shoes. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. See, see, me. see, she's keeping it real. How many of y'all buy season tickets to WNBA games? How many of y'all go to NBA games? This, is, this is not gender. This is business. If you don't put ass in the seat, if every black woman in here, every black woman in St. Louis, every black woman in Minnesota would buy a ticket and fill those games up, they would pay those ladies more. This is not about gender. This is called business. This is the way it works. That whole, if she was LeBron, if it was a fit, listen, that is a country that is in the middle of an active war. They don't like America anyway, because if that was LeBron over there, we don't know what the hell that happened. They want to trade her. They want to trade her for a war criminal. Okay, Earl. Mix, come on. So we got Uncle Earl. Okay. Uncle, Uncle Earl. He is okay. hated. We, I like Here we go. Uncle Earl. Here we go. All right, who enjoy Juicy? Say Juicy! Juicy! Say Juicy! Juicy! DJ Mac, take us out. Take us out. Take it. Take it. Take it out. Sweet.
y'all got it out there? All you gotta say is swing up, y'all got it? Oh, no, no, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Sweet love. Uh, uh. Now, while we here, while we here, give me some. Uh, I want some two step music. Oh, the one. One, the one. Hey. What? Sweet love. Rami, Rami, rapping, rapping. So, are we going to do a little freestyle? Can you yeah. see the camera? Get out of the way. You see his serious face? Oh, first of all, how y'all doing? We don't need no introduction to me. First and foremost, how y'all doing? We don't need no introduction to me. We want to be straight to the point. We already talked about two shit. Straight to the point, bro. Ah, wrong. Let's look. I've been. I, I think I may be a little past comfy over here. I've been <laughs> sipping a little razzle dazzle. So <laughs> I'm over here a little quiet. You know what I mean? Who is the artist Roman Rome? He is a great rapper. And so let's talk about rap. What does rap mean to you? And what are you bringing to the table now as far as rap? With me, it's just the art, man. Like, especially how I express myself. I block everything out. You know what I mean? I don't follow the crowd, so. With me, it's just the art of hip hop from the pure, from the culture, you know, no mumble rap, just be yourself. That's with me. I bet we're not gonna freestyle. Skittles on my head. I bet we're not gonna freestyle. I bet you won't. You should go around the room uh -huh. and you should give the mic uh -huh. to somebody and let them say a word. And okay, yeah. a word. Yeah. You gotta Ready? drop. Why y'all doing it like that? Come on. That's how we about to do it. Oh, we back. <laughs> I'm the guy, yeah, I'm fly, baby, honestly. That's cool, but next word, mama. One word, one down. One word, one word. Glitter. She said glitter. My word is glitter. Like, like John? Like John? Okay, 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 okay. Like glitter. I'm back. Nah, I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> You wanna shine with me, mommy? Mom, down, take your time with me, mommy. No. I made mean, rhyme with me, mommy. She said, she sipping Bombay. Yeah, that's lime with me, mommy. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my diddle. She talking about instrumental. She want me to blow my spittle. I'm still with Skittles, whoa. Romy, 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 First yes. off, let us know what you just dropped. It was a collaboration with the artist LJ, who's over yeah, there. Yeah, so where LJ let at? Let us know. Where LJ? LJ, show your hand, my brother. Come on, LJ, hey, we had a, We had an amazing time, man, creating a project. Uh, yeah, man, it's just, I can't even explain how to. First off, the video dropped Sunday. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm still kind of on edge about it, man, because it's so dope the way you put it together. Shout out to my man, Al Pong. Behind the he camera, this guy together. right here, y'all. This guy right here. Shout out Kimology. She directed it. Hey, Kim. Live and direct. But um, yeah, drop it Sunday. Y'all got to look out for it, man. The artist LJ, make love for him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Where can yeah. we find you, your music? What's next for you? Um, actually, also, I got one of my animals in the building. Dolo, he's somewhere right here. We got them animals. Where J-Rod at? J-Rod, he left. He was here for a second. I said Jake. But we just dropped an album. Um, TNT LKP is called Domesticated. Y'all go download that. It's uh, it's next level. Some different Kansas City type of music. You know yeah. what I mean? So So where can they find you on iTunes, IG, Apple, Facebook? Apple, Spotify. You can you know, you go to the club, hit Shazam, and you'll, you know, whatever you mean. Romy Rome, R-O-M-I-I-I-E, R-O-M-E. You can find me everywhere. That's with three eyes. Yeah. So for Mr. Michael Johnson himself. Mr. Michael, Michael Johnson. Johnson. Listen. Y'all straight clown in front of the state of Missouri. I, <laughs> he gotta know who he represents. I like it. Listen, I we done had the mayor it. here on stage. We got you here. Yeah. Um I love when the politicians come on stage. Well, I'm a statesman. I don't like being called a politician. Ooh, I'll accept it. What's the difference? The difference is I just love my people. I don't have a hidden agenda. That's yeah. it. Here we go. Clap for people. that. You that's, good. That. that's good, that's yeah. good. Talking, For real. About, talking about agenda and not having those hidden agendas, tell us kind of what you have a little bit in store for your, your two-year term. All right, well, first of all, uh, let's see. I just passed, I, I helped pass one of the, no, not one of, but the biggest bill in Missouri State's history, which is a broadband bill. Mm. There's never been, 
this much money allocated to one project ever in yes. the state of Missouri. So $400 million for the broadband oh, yeah. bill that is going to start in the unserved and underserved inner city communities and rural areas. Yeah. Yes. So yes. 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 That's, yes. That's, yes. Good. That's big, y'all. I don't know if y'all yeah. understand how big that is. Yes. So I love that you're bringing money to the inner city. And I feel like we always hear these really big numbers, like they're going to bring riverboat money and whatever. So how do we know that that money actually comes to our community? When you say underserved, who are we talking to and like what services are we going to give to them? All right, uh, so when we say unserved and underserved, we're talking about right here in the 23rd and 3rd District. Yeah. Uh, so as a state representative, I'm the 23rd District, but it's the same different. It's the same district as city council members. Uh, so we have our city councilwoman, Melissa Robinson, yeah. and our city councilman, Brandon Ellington. It's the same district as their 3rd District. And uh, one, one significant thing that I want a lot of people to know, I want everyone to know, is that my uncle was a city councilman in this district, the third district, uh, prior to his, him passing. His name was Charles Hasley. So everything that you see here, he was a city councilman for 21 years. Nice. He's the reason they put a term limit in because they got tired of him winning. Wow. So the, the, things, the, the building, that we, this brick and mortar that we're in right now, he did this. Yeah. Negro Leagues, Jazz Museum, yeah. everything that you see down here yeah. that Come on. is not dilapidated. He did. Yes. So I just wanted to follow in his footsteps, yes, but I didn't know that I wanted to follow in his footsteps. Right. Destiny, baby. Destiny. Destiny. That's legacy. Destiny. That's legacy. That's that guiding of youth that we were talking about. Most definitely. He created the example, and now look at you. Legacy. Most definitely. And I'm, and uh, I'm, I didn't see it coming. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm blessed to be educated, but I'm from the streets. Right. You know, and so I got a book coming out. I'm gonna write a book this year called From the Concrete to the Capital. Yeah. You know, because I want people to know the story about us being able to make a difference right. and make it even when people don't realize that they know that this uh, cycle of life will put you in different uh, positions. And 90% of this game is positioning. My next question is, uh, what do you got coming up next and where can they find you at if they have any questions? You can find me at uh, Michael Dot Johnson from Missouri. I have a website and then you can find me on social media platforms. Uh, Michael L. Johnson for state representative, or you can find me, my regular page, Mike Johnson, uh, and those two are also on Instagram as well. Twitter, same thing. So I'm you answer back, right? Are you Because you, know you, you know how some people are, you inbox, I, I try to inbox everybody who answers me, I try to, unless I don't like you. Well, you tell me, <laughs> you tell me how I respond. You, you hit me up, do I hit you back? You do, you do. All right, all right, so we... And that's for anybody. I don't. I don't that's like right. being an uh, elected official that you can't get a hold of. And my right. thing is, you don't have to have a scheduled appointment to have an appointment because we're having an appointment right now. Yes. 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 So y'all give it up for state representative yes. Michael Johnson, y'all. Yes. yes. Now listen, y'all. We don't had a lot of hair people on the show today. I'm seeing that. I got all the hair people. Like, <laughs> I met this young, beautiful. Ain't she beautiful right here? Erica Lynn, y'all is in the house. Hey, Erica hey. Lynn is in the house. Yes. So let me tell you, and we go so back. Can I tell them when I came to your house? I'm gonna have to be the, in the video Please shoot in, in your garage. You can tell them. Oh, you can say. Hey, Cedric, you, you remember this? So we was doing a big hair show here in Kansas City, and she was like one of the first people in my hair show. And I'm, she was like, I was like, can I do an interview with you? And she was like, Quest, come on. And she, I went to her house, y'all. She turned her house into a whole, like... It was a studio. It was a sure. studio. And remind you, when we come in, you know, I bring the cameras and stuff. And I, like, I, it's a hustle that she has, and I saw then. And when I can see her, to her now, what she's doing now, she has not only her own wig line, but you got her own, she has her own building and her own store, y'all. Give it up for Miss Erica Lynn, y'all. You. You. So Miss Erica Lynn, I, I got chills talking about you, because I see where you started, and I see where you are now. Tell the people who you are. I'm Erica Lynn, the owner and operator of The Wig Bar. You can find us at 3722 Broadway. We are Kansas City's lace wig connoisseur and concierge. That means we do everything from custom-made wigs. We bring your old wigs back to life. And Some of y'all need to go there right now. So <laughs> we got you. We can help well, you. Who is the person that right now? Well, this is not I'm allowed to talk about hair. I said I was not talking about hair this season. <laughs> Why did I wear it all? But she can fix y'all wigs. Okay, go ahead. That's right. And so 
not only do we make and sell wigs at the wig bar, but we also teach wig making classes because I'm all about sharing. Yes. I like to usher in that next generation yes. of entrepreneurs. Yes. So if you have any young people in your life who might be wanting to get into the industry, send them my way because I do mentorship as yes. well. Yes. I currently have two young ladies I'm mentoring. One has graduated high school yes. at Northeast and the other one will be a sophomore this year. And so I'm all about teaching, That's sharing, dope. and all those things. That's dope. So, you know, entrepreneurship, that's my thing. I want you to tell the people about growing and scaling your business. What gave you the ideas to do that? And how is it coming along? Are you successful in that area right now? Do you see yourself maybe having a wig bar part two somewhere else in the city? Do you see yourself expanding maybe to another state? Yes, absolutely. So, I have to give you guys the backstory. Everybody I say, respect the mic. Respect, respect the mic. Because if you was up here, you want somebody to listen to you too, amen? Come on. It's our last interview, y'all. Come on, here we go. So I started all the way back in 2006. And I say that to say entrepreneurship does not come easy. It's not an overnight thing. Don't let the internet fool you. Right. I started in 2006 as a cosmetologist. I did that for 17 years right. before opening my own establishment. I never really intended on having a salon of my own, I'll be honest. I started my salon because the pandemic pushed me out of my comfort zone. I had to leave the salon I was working at because they closed, everything closed, right? When I left that salon, I was a little prideful, but I set up shop in my home. I had a separate entrance for my clients. It grew so much that I needed an establishment. These people were coming in buying wigs in my home. They were getting their hair shampooed and styled in my home. They believed in me so much and I made so much money in my home, I was able to save up and I had no choice but to get a shop. Yes. So you never really know where the journey is going to take you, but I'm going to say to everybody, start where you can start at. Don't be prideful and just stay along for the ride. So now I have the wig bar. We've been open for, it'll be a year, August yes. 28th. Yeah. Give her a hand for that. Happy yeah. birthday! Yeah. 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 And that's my birthday that's as big. well. Oh, wow, wow. So I did my grand opening last year on my birthday. Yes. And uh, we will be expanding. I do see us having more locations, not in Kansas City, but we plan on traveling to other states in the United States and opening other locations. Yes. Currently, we do have a full team. We have an esthetician, lash technician, hair braider, and we're growing. So again, if you know anybody out there, makeup artists, hairstylists, or even someone who wants to learn wigs, send them my way. We're hiring. Yes, yes. We love it. I, I love everything she said. I'm all about mentorship and reaching back, and so that's sure. usually where I go with it because I think that it's important to, to build a foundation in the youth. I, we don't pour enough into ourselves, so I love that you do that. I mean, at this point, nobody ever wants to put wigs on me. So if you need a wig model, I ain't got no hair anyway. I want to. I want to put a wig on you. Me you, and Quest go full You the one that said you don't have no hair. I didn't say nothing about your hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not today. Y'all not cussing me out for my hair jokes. No, uh, my I job. love it. I will point out one thing that you said that I really like is because you said start where you are, but you had to outgrow your current circumstances right. to go to the next yes. level. So if nothing else in entrepreneurship, make sure that you don't jump the gun. I feel like that's where you get discouraged. And I'm hearing you say, like, I had to actually outgrow where I was to go to the next level. So, yeah, I got, I got and, nothing. And if I can, I want to add to that. I've worked at a lot of the top salons in Kansas City. I didn't just say, oh, I want to own a hair salon. Let me go open a hair salon. No, I had to learn. I had to grit, grind, hustle. I had to fuck up a lot of times. I had to be taught by each individual owner who accepted me into their shop. So I just want to let you guys know that it's not an overnight journey, but the journey is well worth it. I love where I'm at right now. I'm able to share my face. Information, give the contact information, email, uh, Facebook. <laughs> where, where can they find you? Definitely follow me on Instagram and on Facebook at the Wig Bar KC. Also, you can reach me by email if you're interested in any mentorship or any classes at Erica Lynn, A-R-I-C-A, at thewigbarkc.com. Michael Johnson, I want to make sure y'all link you up with this one right here. Uh, she's doing something for schools, all the kids going back to school, so make sure y'all link up. She has a program going on. Y'all give it up for our two guests this morning. Come on, y'all. Y'all give it up for them. Yes, yes. Everybody say, best dress. Best dress.
dress. Say best dress. Best. DJ, let's take us out because we about to look at for our best dresses of the day of today. You want to be straight so much. You see my girlfriend. Brandon, that is not what I'm being straight. I'm telling you, one day, one day. I don't know when, y'all. So meow, meow. Oh, uh, uh, okay, so listen. Um, I know y'all enjoyed this episode. Shout out to Uncle Earl. I know he was really funny. All right, we got to bring him back. Listen, y'all, if you enjoyed the show, tell your mama, tell, tell your friend, go subscribe to our channel, watch it, download, stay tuned for our next episode. September 3rd is the next show. All right, we want to see you there. Again, questpresents.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey, merchandise. Make sure you get some merchandise. All right, merchandise. <laughs> questpresents.com. Peace. Ha 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 